Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris at Hydroponics of Birmingham, and today we're making an NFT for beginners video. NFT stands for Nutrient Film Technique, and it's commonly used among home gardeners because you can pack a lot of plants into a small space and get great results. Uh, this video we're going to go over different systems that we have that we offer here in the store. We're going to explain the way NFT systems work and explain different plants that you can grow in an NFT system. So without further ado, I'm going to get on to the actual components of an NFT system. Uh, basically, every NFT system has some of these same features, and that's going to be a reservoir, and this is where your water and nutrient solution is going to be stored. You have a small submersible pump, and this right here is around a 200 gallon per hour pump. And if you look at the top of this lid, we've cut a hole here for our cord to go back and our actual uh, half inch poly pipe that's going to run the water up. And then there's a hole here for the nutrient solution to come back and go into our reservoir. get this out of the way. When that's hooked up, this pipe is just going to go through here and it's going to bring the water all the way up. It's going to drop it down here and cascade down the pipe and then get recollected in our reservoir. So you can grow a lot of plants in a small area like I said before but you're using small amounts of water and that's what makes an NFT system so great. So what I'm going to do real quick is just talk about three different systems that we offer here at Hydroponics of Birmingham and explain kind of the benefits, the pros and cons of each system. The first one we have, we call it our pallet garden and uh, basically because it's built into a pallet. So what you have here, it's a small six site system. Uh, it uses one and a half inch PVC opposed to the larger 4 inch PVC and one thing to keep in mind with that is you only want smaller plants in here so your basic herbs that you have and use in the kitchen as far as basil, thyme, uh, any of those would be great additions to make here and then maybe just one or two heads of lettuce so these go great as far as setting them up in your kitchen one thing I do like is we've included the chalkboard paint on here so you can write whatever is actually in this garden so the same principle the one and a half inch pipe it takes it up it loops it down a reservoir is behind it, there's a small submersible pump, the same hole is cut out and it brings the water right back up to the system. Next I'll show you a smaller lettuce system. Uh, if you're not really wanting to have a huge system or if you want something that you could put out on your porch for instance, this is a great system. And I explained to you about the pump earlier, the way everything works. This system here can be set in a corner uh, in a real small type place and get 16 heads of lettuce out of it. So it's a great system. This is actually 3 inch net cups opposed to the 2 inch net cups earlier. And so those would go in here and these would contain uh, your heads of lettuce. Also, this system fits perfectly underneath the light stand. So if you don't have anywhere to go outside and you want to pull this in or even pull it in for the winter, you can include this light stand, and this is just a T5 light. Uh, very typical, four foot, four bulb, regular T5 light. You're going to get about 20,000 lumens out of this. Uh, one great thing about T5 lighting, it doesn't produce a lot of heat. So that's why we like to use the T5 lights on the NFT systems. The last system I'm going to show you is a much larger system. Uh, this is a 20 site NFT system same type scenario but one thing I will say with this system here you need a much larger submersible pump because you're taking that water from the reservoir down here and pumping it all the way up to the pipe here so you want to make sure you include uh, a submersible pump that's going to actually be able to take that water and move it up. The pump we have in here is around a 400 gallon per hour pump so uh, you could go that, that's on the low end, you could go a 600 gallon per hour, but anything over that would, would probably be overkill. But this system is great, and one thing I do like is we've included caster wheels, so as you see I'm kind of moving it around. Uh, if you have this in your garage in the wintertime, you can always move it out during the spring, fall, and grow your lettuce out there. The best light that it ever attended is the sun, and we can definitely utilize that with this guy having wheels. 
Lastly, I'm going to let you know the type of plants that we want to grow in this system. And speaking of which, let me show you the plants we're growing in this system. So here we have a lot of different stuff going. The main thing is, like I said earlier, it's all the same type of leafy green growth. Uh, the same plants have the same nutrient requirements, and they're not going to get too large and clog that pipe up. So first we have kale. Uh, kale has become very popular because of its health benefits as of lately. And uh, you can see this is lush, healthy, great looking kale. This here is Simpson lettuce. And what I like about Simpson lettuce is it doesn't grow like in a normal head. Basically it just grows these long stalks here and you can pull it off as you want to eat it. So you just pull that off, put it right in a salad or whatever you'd like to do with it. Sandwich, anything. Uh, this here is bib lettuce, and it's a great lettuce, great tasting lettuce. Also, we have pop choy, which is here and up here, a couple of those. Uh, I've included some basil. Basil is one of my favorite herbs, and as you can see, it's got great healthy looking roots and some great looking and great smelling basil. And then lastly, uh, we have an edible flower that we've included here. This is one of my first times growing it, but you can see it's got a great root system, very healthy, great looking white roots on that. I'm just going to put this back so I don't damage them. That is one key thing to remember with an NFT system. If you're pulling a plant out, gingerly put those roots back because you don't want to damage those roots. Alright, I think I got it there. In conclusion, basically we're just going to go over the initial maintenance of uh, your NFT system. and. The thing about these, they're easy to maintain, easy to clean. One way you could take pharmaceutical grade hydrogen peroxide, and I'm talking 29% to 35%, uh, mix it at three to five milliliters a gallon, and just run that through your system for a couple of days. Hydrogen peroxide's a gas, it'll evaporate out. One great way to clean it. Uh, if you want to get down and dirty and really scrub it, you can take these apart. We don't glue the elbows, and that way you can pull everything apart and get some Dawn dishwashing liquid or anything that's not going to be too toxic and run through the pipe. You don't want to use anything like bleach or anything that's going to be harmful and bind to that plastic. Uh, these are easy to maintain and you can grow a lot of plants in a small area in summary. So if you're looking for a great NFT system, come down and see us here at Hydroponics of Birmingham. We have several to offer and you can even design your own. If you have an idea that I haven't thought about, please come in with a design, a blueprint, let me know. I promise we can make it happen. Thanks for watching guys and we'll have another video coming soon.